Let's take a little look at how we calculate equilibrium values. So what we work, are going to work on with the equilibrium is something called the equilibrium constant. So it's based on the fact that the rate of the forward reaction is rate of the re reverse reaction at equilibrium. We won't go into how this equation is, is derived, but you can look that up if you would like. The equilibrium constant is symbolized by a capital K. Um, we'll talk about some other types of equilibrium constants that we will see. So sometimes you might see K, 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 Q. So K, E, Q is the K is just emphasizing that it's at equilibrium. K, A we'll look at with acids, K, B with bases. So just, you know, be aware that there may be a, uh, a subscript here that will specify what K you're working with. The general equation is k is equal to, these brackets mean concentration of whatever's in the brackets. So if I have NaCl in brackets, then that means the concentration of NaCl, or sodium chloride here. Uh, typically we're working in molarity, we'll talk about some of the other units that you, you may look at later. So the concentration is in brackets, and there's a exponent here, which is the coefficient from the balanced equation. And we'll take a look at how we pull that, that values from the balanced equation in an example. So let's take a look at calculating K. So I have a balanced reaction. You do have to have a balanced reaction to calculate K. So I have nitrogen gas plus three hydrogen gas forming to ammonia gas. Notice that it's at equilibrium. We've got that bi-directional arrow. And let's say that the concentration is at equilibrium are equal to these values, that nitrogen is 0 0.313 molar, hydrogen is 0 0.15 molar, and ammonia is 0 0.32 molar. So remember, K is going to be equal to our concentration of our products to exponent over our reactants to exponents. The products, remember, are on the right hand side of the equation. They're what's produced and our reactants are on the left side of the equation. Okay. So what we are going to do is we need to determine our K equation. Our products are NH3, so we have NH3 in brackets. Notice the exponent, the, the coefficient here is 2, so that's going to become our exponent. So it's going to be the concentration of ammonia squared. The reactants, we have nitrogen and we have hydrogen. When we have more than one reactant or product, they're just multiplied uh, in that wherever place that is. So if it's rea multiple reactants, then they're multiplied together. If it's multiple products, they would be multiplied together. Nitrogen, exponent here, there's a coefficient of 1, so exponents could be 1. And our hydrogen, if we look in the balanced equation, has a coefficient of 3, so its exponent is 3. If we then plug our values into the, into the K equation, that's 0 0.32 molar for my NH3, 0 0.13 molar, 0 0.15 molar. So notice the 0 0.32 molar is going to be squared. This 0 0.13 is just, you know, to the first power, so it's just one time. 0 0.15, you're going to be cubing that. So do work, be careful about how you work with your exponents in your calculators. I put all of this into my calculator and I get around 230. It should come around 233 and some change on your calculator. But because of significant figures, notice these all have 
two significant figures, our final value has to be rounded to two significant figures. Notice that the k value has no units here because it's a proportion, it's a ratio that we're looking at. It's not, uh, it's, it's a unitless value. 